Warning, what you're about to watch is performed by a professional in a controlled environment. Do not attempt any of these stunts without proper supervision or equipment. So, so today we're gonna be doing some pretty awesome stuff. It's gonna involve a few things. First of all, we're gonna need 100% cotton thread, chunk of 100% cotton fabric, some scissors, some lighter fluid, and a lighter. If I haven't spoke to this before, I actually used to do fire eating, and I used to be a magician. Um, fire eating is really dangerous, so practice caution. I don't recommend doing this at home, but if you're gonna do it at home, make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area, and you have the proper safety equipment. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fabric, roll it up in a ball, and create one of these. All this is, is a little tiny ball of the fabric and thread. Now we want cotton because cotton is not gonna melt. Um, it's gonna act as a wick like the candle. If you use some th synthetic fabric, like nylon for example, that's when you're gonna actually have damage to this and you're gonna have melting and you're gonna definitely get burns. So we're gonna roll this, in, we're gonna roll this into a ball, tied up with a thread like this. And here we are. Okay, so we're gonna take our wick and we're gonna soak it with lighter fluid. Now this is where it's really, it really begins to get dangerous because you have open flame and you have fuel. So if you're not careful, you can certainly cause an accident. So you're gonna be very careful and you're gonna just put a little bit on to your wick on a couple of the surfaces, getting it wet. Now what happens when we light this, it's not going to burn the actual fabric. It's gonna burn the fuel. So the fuel is gonna burn, and when you hold it, the flames are gonna go straight up. It will get hot, you're holding fire, but generally all the heat is gonna be up here, above the wick. So when I hold it, the flames will be probably about this high. And as long as we keep moving, it won't get very hot. Now, you can only have it lit for a few seconds before it gets hot because you're holding on to the fire. As soon as it gets hot, cover it. Cut out all the oxygen and the flame will go out immediately. Without further ado, let's jump into this. Make sure you have no fuel on your hands. It's not cool. I, I really recommend, don't do this at home. If you're gonna do it, make sure you have people with you, an adult supervision. Make sure you know what you're doing. Research this. This is dangerous. But here we go. Candle. And it gets hot, put it out. Pretty easy. Now this flame is certainly burning all the hairs on my hands, so be careful because it does happen. You are literally playing with fire. Um, and I will say this, um, you play with fire, you will get burned. And I have had second degree burn on my face from fire eating in the past, so do not expect to walk out of this unscathed. It takes practice, um, it takes knowledge to be able to do this appropriately. So it's been a while since I've actually done fire eating. Let's see if I still got the skills. Down nice and good. All right, kind of nervous. There's a good chance I might actually burn, because I said I, I burned the hairs of my hand, might burn the hairs of my face. So we'll see if I can do this. You ready? Woo! Still got it. Okay guys, so that's the video for today. And in case you didn't know, I used to be a fire eater. I used to be a magician. I do know what I'm doing. Don't just go and do this without parents or anyone know, knowing. You gotta make sure that you know what you're doing in these scenarios. I'm just kind of showing you what you can do. Do your research and uh, with a little bit of knowledge you can do a lot of crazy cool stuff. So always make sure you know what you're doing in these scenarios. I've been fire eating and doing magic for a long time. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. See ya.